everybody, it's Dr. Kate Sage here. I'm a naturopathic doctor. I specialize in family medicine and pediatrics. Today I wanted to talk to you about dehydration. We do have to let our kids go outside. I mean, they can't stay inside all the time, every day, all day long. Three tips for helping with dehydration. please get them outside, but make sure they stay hydrated. But anyway, I'm making this video in case they do get a little dehydrated. First signs to watch for for dehydration would be if they're starting to feel a little irritable, you know, they're bright pink, their skin is dry, um, their eyes may be a little bit sunken. If you look in their mouth, their mouth looks like sticky. They might even start going like that. Um, if you happen to see them urinate, uh, their urine will be a darker color and they probably will be doing that less. So those are like the first signs, in which case you should do all these things that I'm gonna be telling you to do in a second. The warning signs of like severe dehydration, and I think most people as parents can kind of figure that out that there's something really wrong, but that would be if your kid's super lethargic and not, you know, with, it, with you anymore, um, their eyes are very sunken, their mouth is dry, they're not urinating anymore, um, that would be cause to go to the emergency room. So do try to figure out if they're in the first stage before getting into stage two. So three tips for helping with dehydration. Number one is popsicles. In this case, we'll go ahead and make yourself some electrolyte popsicles to keep in the freezer. I will post a recipe for, but pretty much it is lemon juice and sea salt and honey and water, and you can mix that up real good and make them into popsicles. If your kids don't like lemon, you can add different flavors to it or whatever. If you just have regular little bomb pops or whatever other kind of popsicle, they still help with um, dehydration because they are getting fluids in a kid slowly in a way that they will eat the whole thing, and it's pretty effective. And I'll tell you, I have sent kids to the hospital, to the ER for dehydration before and had the hospital just give them popsicles. So I'll tell you, that's a very expensive popsicle. I would just make them at home. Number two is to make your own electrolyte drink, or in this case, you can also um, do Pedialyte if you happen to have that on hand. I mean, I would rather have them have Pedialyte than again, go to the hospital and you can find that really easily. They sell it at Walgreens or at, you know, any regular food chain store. So this would be the time to use that if you needed to. Um, or you can do coconut water, although coconut water isn't quite right for babies. So just be careful with that. But over the age of two, for sure, you can use coconut water. The reason why is because the potassium balance isn't quite the right amount for the super little ones. Um, the other thing is that I really like the tablets that you can get. They're called Noon, N-U-U-N, and I'm not in any way associated with them. I don't get a kickback, but um, that's what I found in my family. We tend to use those a lot because it's pretty easy, and they come in a bunch of different flavors. You can buy them at most natural food stores, and you just put one tablet in a glass of water, and it gives electrolytes that kids like and will drink. Just be careful because Noon also sells electrolyte drinks that also have some energy components to them, so you do not want to give your kids caffeine. So just make sure to read the ingredients and that you get a flavor that has only the electrolytes in it. The third thing is to do Epsom salt baths. And so I know that sounds a little bit weird that you put your kid in a hot bath. Maybe you don't use the hottest of hot water, but you want to use water that's warm enough to dissolve the salts and keep them in for about 15 minutes. And the reason why is because the magnesium in there will help calm their body down. Um, it also helps with the fatigue aspect. It helps to hydrate them, really enough, because it gives them some of those extra salts, and um, it'll just overall make them feel better. So toss them into the bath. That is all I got. Please do follow me on Facebook. I will be posting that electrolyte drink recipe there. And otherwise, I'm at Intuition Wellness Center in Tucson, Arizona. Take care and happy summer.